I really genuinely feel we all need to create, regardless of where we are in our lives. In the arts, there's this sense of reward of when, especially students who feel like they can't do something, and then they end up through, through my instruction and through their practice and, and figuring things out, they realize that they really can do that stuff. I took an art class because I always found expression and the human ability to create as to be one of the more intriguing parts of our existence and how we've been given a mind that's not just an absorber, but a creator. You're not necessarily afraid to create the project, you're more afraid to mess up or not get it as good as your others. But it's technically your own piece and it doesn't matter what others have, it's yours and you get to design it. From taking this art class, I was hoping to gain a relaxing and just an enjoyable class overall and that is exactly what ceramics was all about. The art of expression is essentially what art is. It's explaining or conveying how one feels through symbolism, words, or otherwise. And I definitely think that it allows me to tell stories or convey a particular emotion in more meaningful and deep ways than just saying it. My projects are set up so that they build upon each other. So towards the end of the semester, students are actually able to think more strategically on their own about the process in which they're building, but also more conceptually in the way that they're expressing themselves through their work. I provide grading rubrics for my students with each project, so there is no mystery in the skills that they need to demonstrate in their projects. In the moment now, as we're drawing on earlier lessons, I try to say that as much as possible and bring that. Remember when we did this in that project before? Like, that's the same thing we're doing now. Um, we're drawing on that. It's just a little bit different, but it's that same thing. You've already done this. Having a project and a big end goal with little steps in between there makes it makes any project you're doing attainable, you know, breaking it down. Progression can be easily displayed through building a portfolio. And each student in my class is building a portfolio that starts the first day of school and ends the last day of the semester, and it shows growth. I've had, like, the ideas of what I want as my voice since freshman year. I was always like, oh, art isn't my thing, like it's not as good as everybody around me. You just really have to push yourself, trust yourself, and let yourself grow. I've been using art as an outlet and a way to express my feelings since before I could remember. It's a way that I can let everything out. I can either use it to express my emotions or use it to escape my emotions. You could choose what your voice is in art, which I can't really find that anywhere else because everything else is like, you need to be so specific and do it a certain way, but art, you could do it any way you want. You could just learn it and develop all that skill and do it your own way. Anything creative I like doing, and at, once I finish it, I look down and I'm like, wow, I did pretty good. It makes me happy, and I just like creating things, so just overall art just like makes me happy. From my first art class to now, my skills are definitely completely different. I have grown, first of all, in confidence, and I have grown in my technique-wise, like through all the practice I've been doing, through studies I've been doing, through references, I've grown in being able to do anatomy better, to being able to do backgrounds, and to be able to be more comfortable in the mediums I use. Oh, I've learned so many new techniques and like also discovered what I want to do in art and the type of voice that I want to have for myself, as well as what I want to make, what I want people to see, you know, put certain things in my art to make them think certain things about my art. Art has taught me that it's okay to have something that's for yourself. Like, I can enjoy art and not want to pursue it in the future, but want to keep it to something as myself, because I may be skilled in art, but I may not want to make it my career, but I'm always gonna have it as part of myself. It's taught me to be more open to criticism and critiques, um, and to collaborate with other people with like the intent of like us bettering each other, like in AP art, like the critiques and like, and just like seeing how other people think and like express themselves is very educational. Art has taught me to really trust myself, trust the process because, you know, I'll start a painting and I'll be like, oh, this isn't what I wanted, but then I could turn it out to something I could never even have imagined, which that really just develops more trust in yourself. 
It'll, I think that art class will help me appreciate like the way art is made because like without really knowing anything about art you'll just like glance at something and be like oh that's cool but like after taking like an art class you realize the amount of work and dedication that is really put into something and the feelings that the artist has to put in as well. In a world where images are quickly replacing words as our primary language, I think it's very important that students will be able to apply critical thinking skills gained in my class to the images out there in the world after they leave my class. For students that don't go on to become professional artists, I hope that they will still consider themselves artists even after my class, but I know they will take away skills that will help them be successful individuals, and that's collaborating with others, knowing how to give and receive feedback and apply that to whatever they're doing on a daily basis. I hope these students learn how to take risks outside of their comfort zone when it comes to creating art. Most importantly, I would like my students to use art as a tool for self-expression and a means to find beauty in life. I had one student a number of years ago, she, she sent me a, uh, a text with a photograph out of the blue and she was like, I was just sitting, it reminded me of the class that we did and I shot that photograph and I wanted to share it with you. So that's, those things are, I find really, really valuable. They might not remember the specifics of my class, but they remember what it felt like to be in there making. They remember the feeling and hopefully the joy of the process of making things. That's hopefully the most enduring feeling that they can have for the rest of their lives.